Hey guys, we are at the Pacific Northwest Custom Knife Invitational, and we're about to go find some of the coolest knives you've never heard of. We're over at the Prince Customs booth, and we had a little bit of a sneak peek at this knife earlier. Uh, we were over at CRKT, and Princeton Wong was over there who runs Prince Customs. This is the Persevere. It's a side opening auto, and it's kind of magical. So there's two things you really need to know about this. First off, right out of the gate, beautiful milling work, titanium. We're at a custom knife show, right? Damn a steel blade, like absolutely amazing. But what it has is the whole scale slides and that's what allows you to open and close the knife, which is super rad. So they're currently calling this the Latama Sliding Scale Release. Obviously a beautiful knife, we're at a custom knife show. Another really neat thing about it is that the lock is actually built into the back here. So you push down to lock it and you push down that side to lock that side. So you can lock it open, you can lock it closed. That way it doesn't go off in your pocket. Obviously it's on the pocket clip side, so sliding it in your pocket might be a good idea to be able to lock that so it doesn't slide while it goes in. And then just so you guys know, it does come in a little less of a blinged out version <laughs> if this one's a little much, but I like the way this one looks. You know, obviously we're at a custom knife show, so you know, you gotta show the blingy stuff. Really neat mechanism, check them out. All right, one fun thing about coming to custom knife shows is that you get to see one-off stuff or you get to see stuff that maybe a maker doesn't normally do or that you know a maker does. So we're here at Doyle's Knife booth. First time I've ever talked to him. Seems like a really rad guy. He makes folders like this. So it's a stock reduction folder. It sounds like S35 is kind of his steel of choice and he makes everything that you're seeing right here. And this is a really beautiful, really cool knife. There was something on his table though that really stuck out to me that was kind of unique at the show here. I wanted to show you guys. He has these just like brutally efficient fixed blades and I just love this type of fixed blade for whatever reason, I don't know why. He's got them in a bunch of different styles and these are all just one-offs. This is just stock that he has left over from his normal knife making and he'll make these fixed blades and he only sells them at shows, doesn't really put them on the website. You can find him on his Instagram. We'll put a link down below. And you can even DM him if this is something you're interested in. But just really neat cord wrap. It's got like a wax over the cord that's kind of holding that all together. Just a really neat, just brutally efficient fixed plate. And there's something about these type of fixed plates that I love. And then just to show you guys, he also had some sheaths made. And uh, you got leather sheath and you know a nice pocket clip so you could carry it in pocket if you wanted to. So Doyle Knives doing some interesting stuff. I mean, everybody here has beautiful work. Uh, we're just kind of picking the stuff that jumps off the table at us. And those fixed blades, I think, they're kind of unique. They're kind of interesting. Check them out. All right, we found some fixed blades that jumped off the table at us and they turned out to have something a little extra special in a room full of special. These are both from BRT Knives. This is the boot knife that he makes. I believe it's called the EE4. Really neat, micarta handles, 3B steel. But you'll notice here that it's got some markings that you may be familiar with if you're kind of a Star Wars nerd. This is like the common language of the Star Wars universe. I was told that this means property of the empire or something along those lines. So for you diehards out there, let me know if that's correct. <laughs> And then he also has this Raiden knife that he makes, which is really neat. Did it in a Star Wars theme. And this says, this is the way. So you've got the Mandalorian crest there. And then the sheath of this also comes with the Mandalorian crest on it. So a little extra nerdy on top of a little extra nerdy, but really beautiful knives and uh, kind of a fun twist. Again, just stuff that you don't see normally or you're not gonna find easily that you could find at a custom knife show. So it's not just knives here. There is uh, some really cool gear stuff as well. And we stopped over at the BYS booth and kind of checked out some of the custom leather work that they have going on. Really cool stuff. This is the BYS Carry All. You got space for a little tool, you got space for a pen, you got space for a knife, and then space for a flashlight. Now, this might look just a little bit thin. He custom made this one for himself. This is out of his pocket. We wanted to show it with some gear in it. So it will fit like a one inch thick flashlight normally. This one's a little bit thinner than it normally would be, just so you guys know. And then his wife had uh, hers on her as well. So this is the mini. They're very, very similar. This one just doesn't have a flashlight hole on it. That's the only really big difference. So you got a tool, you got a pen, you got a knife. She's outfitted hers with some cool beads. This has got some custom stuff on the back. He just does a lot of custom leather work. You can check him out on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. We'll put a link down in the description. But if you're looking for a little carrier, these are super high quality and honestly just great people. So be wise, check them out. We're over at the Chuck Gidritis table. Make sure I can say that last name correctly. You know, he's got some kind of like simple looking Swiss Army style knives here. You know, they've got tweezers in them. They've got a toothpick in them. But you know, we're at a custom knife show. So they come with a bit of a twist and that is that they're on 
a scale release auto. So these are Swiss Army inspired switchblades, essentially, which is really, really cool. Now you'll notice I actually went to do this because it's a, a, an auto, but similar to the Buck 110, it has a traditional locking style. You know, the Buck 110's a back lock. This is a liner lock and it has auto action. He's got a bunch of different versions of them. I love a lot about it. You know, I'm a big Swiss Army fan. I think the thing that I like the most is that not only did he take a form factor and do something interesting with it, but also that he was willing to work the tools in. And if you're interested in something super custom, he says that he does custom made tools or he'll do uh, like Timascus versions of the tools that are in this one. So anyways, check it out. Really, really neat automatic Swiss Army style. Night. Okay, so we are at a booth that, uh, or I guess a table that isn't quite fully custom, but it's one you guys are gonna know and they're doing some interesting stuff. So you've heard of Tactile Turn, the pen company. Well, they're also doing knives, which you may or may not have heard. So Tactile Knife, this is the Maverick. This is a Richard Rogers collaboration. Obviously you got the crossbar lock, full titanium construction, magna cut blade. And the cool thing is, is that everything on this knife, every screw, every bit of it, including the packaging, all USA made, which is super, super rad. Now, some of you may or may not have seen the Maverick before, but I know what none of you have seen is this new anodization process. This is the first time they're showing it off here at the show. This is anodized titanium. And if you know anything about anodized titanium, you'll know that anodized titanium usually is not in a flat color, probably never in a flat color. So these guys have been playing around with this process for over a year, they finally nailed it. They've got 20 of these at the show, which isn't important. They're probably gonna sell them all. The cool thing is, is they are gonna start integrating this into some of their production models. So uh, a flat finish titanium knife is kind of a cool thing. So that's Tactile Knife Company. This is the Maverick and uh, some really neat things coming. So I'm always on the hunt for like interesting kitchen knives and not because I'm in the kitchen a lot, but because I really like custom made stuff. And I really like the idea of like knife guys making my kitchen knives and not just some nameless, faceless place. So we found Rossi knives here at the show and he's got some really cool stuff. Right out of the gate, we've got an integral chef's knife. This is eight inch chef knife. This is like a ball bearing. And I think it was like a 1080 steel Damascus and then a burl wood handle. So just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Then there was something that was a little bit unique, at least to me as somebody who doesn't like deal in forged kitchen knives very often. This is actually a Eastern style chef knife is what they're calling it. And this is forged Magna Cut. So he actually forged the Magna Cut on this and this has got a, a micarta handle on it. This thing is super light. And I actually asked him, I was like, how bad is it to forge Magna Cut? Cause as we all know, it's pretty dang tough. Um, and he said it beats you up a bit, but he said that uh, Laren Thomas, obviously the creator of Magna Cut has been really gracious in helping him figure all that out. So really cool knife design, but also really cool process and material on this here. So Rossi knives, I mean, some amazing handmade kitchen knives here at the show. So this uh, custom invitational is only in its second year and it has attracted some, some real legends out there. So we're here with Michael Walker. If you guys don't know, Michael Walker is among many things, the inventor of the liner lock. That's probably the best way you guys will know who he is. And uh, he has a, just an absolutely beautiful knife here he's gonna show off. So tell us, tell us about this model here. This is actually based on off of a, a gold zipper model that I did about a year and a half ago. It's a, a lock I first developed around 2005, I guess, with a button lock. So titanium frame, stainless Damascus inlays, a little 18 karat gold there, and uh, some of my typical graphics in there. It's not a flipper or anything, but it is what we now call California opener, so the blade will just pop out when you push the button and then you just rotate it out. So that's the guy there. That's awesome. That's way awesome. Now, we've seen a lot of beautiful work here. I think this might be one of the most impressive pieces we've seen. This one sold, right? Is that correct? It did. What did this go for? It's 27.5. Yeah, 27.5. So if you guys are interested in his work, definitely check his stuff out. If uh, $27,000 is a little out of your budget, uh, CRKT is making some awesome knives with you as well. Yeah, so yeah. you can get a Michael Walker design for uh, under $500, <laughs> which, is a, which is a steal. <laughs> all right, huge thanks to the show and for all of these amazing makers out here tons of great stuff on the table we obviously couldn't show you everything hope you guys dug it we'll catch you on the next one